Hello everyone, Scott Smith here with Aspen Avionics coming to you from flight level uh, 200. I uh, want to go over what the ADSB weather looks like on our uh, different screens here. And I want to focus mainly today on the MFD. Um, so what I've got is the next rad coming in on our moving map and you can you know, pan around um, and look at the uh, look at the weather here. And again, this is next rad. You can zoom in, zoom out. If I want information, like more information about this area, let's say I want to look at a METAR or bring up information, we got the little uh, uh, info soft key here. Uh, push in on that, and it's going to bring up uh, the the uh, airport that I'm on. If there's a reporting point there, it will give me a flag. And in this case, there's a IXD marginal. VFR and the best approach available, which is an ILS. I hit push in on the button. Again, left hand button, push in on it. It's going to give, bring up more information about that airport. I can hit the weather soft key and it's going to give me the current observation and it'll also give it to you in plain English. And then it gives us the previous observation. And what's really nice about that is it, you can tell by looking at the previous observation whether that weather is intensifying or dissipating at the airport. So if you're coming into a place and it's, uh, you know, marginal for the approach, you can see whether it's uh, increasing or uh, dissipating in, in weather there. I'm done. Come back out. Now I'm back to my current position. And again, I can zoom in and out. And it's a nice picture. It's uh, comes up, gives you exactly what the uh, what the weather's doing there. So nice looking picture. I can scroll over and go to my dedicated weather page. And on my dedicated weather page, I've got this uh, select weather soft key. Weather five of five. I can go down one of five, two of five, three of five, four of five. And so forth. So on those diff on those five different pages, I can select the different available options and everything from my uh, next rad with uh, convective segments, METARs, air meds and segments, EFR, winds, temperatures aloft. So let's go back and look at METARs. And METARs, I've got the little flags, and I can bring up my legend if I want to see what the flags mean. So we got blue, which is VFR, blue sky, uh, green, still okay to go, but it's marginal. Uh, yellow is IFR, and then red is low IFR. Low IFR being less than 500 foot ceiling, less than a mile visibility. Now, if I want to bring up more information about these reporting points. I simply push in on the soft key, it hits info, and I, as I'm scrolling through, it's going to pop up and show me which reporting point I'm selecting there. I can bring it up and show you that it says, uh, in this case, there's Wichita and the uh, current observation and previous observation, just like what we saw earlier. There's METARs. I can come over. Let's look at the AirMet segments. Um, I can turn on the different items here. So I've got icing. I've got turbulence, IMC, convective. And so you can say, I just want to see where the icing is today. I can hit the info key, and it's going to show me for that AirMet what that air med is for uh, for icing. That's a good example. Uh, TFRs. If there was a TFR there, it would it would uh, put to us. No TFRs today. The last thing is winds and temps aloft. I use this about every single flight. The way this works is I can uh, use on the soft keys here on the right hand side, flight level, plus and minus, 
If I go from three all the way up to 39,000 feet, and as I'm scrolling up and down, I can see what the winds are doing, and it's like a, think of like an arrow getting shot to a target, and each of these lines, like a fletching, each, each fletching or each line is 10 knots, half of a line, like up here, is five knots. So in this case, right here, that's uh, 40 knots, I'm sorry, uh, 30 knots, 30 knots uh, wind coming out of the northwest, temperature's still plus three, this is at 6,000. I keep coming up, there's 9,000, 12,000, I can see what the winds are doing. Really nice tool to have, and it tells us over here on any page we're on, when it was issued, valid from 14 Zulu to 21 Zulu, uh, as we're going through and looking at the uh, different products, we, could, we on the lower right-hand side, it'll tell us uh, the age of that. So there's uh, that, that weather picture's 10 minutes old. METARs are brand new. They just came in. So forth. Guys, thanks for joining us today. Again, Scott Smith here, Aspen Avionics. If you have any further questions, please visit our website or give us a call. Uh, we'd love to chat with you, answer any questions you have. Thanks a lot and have a great day.